Okay, we are back. Um, we found a lead in Casters, Masters, and I think we just told Reen about it. So, uh, yeah. So that's what I heard. In the classroom after school, we don't even have ten more minutes until we have to go home. But I tell Tosok about Kuzuki-sensei. What do you think? Considering Issei's case, I don't think he would suspect him just because he's from the Ryuro Temple. Kuzuki-sensei, huh? He's not even a Magus to start with, disregarding the fact that he doesn't have the presence of a master. I don't know if she's listening to me, as Tosaka is frowning to herself. He's not a Magus? That's good. I guess we can count him out in that case. Why? Someone as suspicious as him has to be a master. Someone as suspicious as him has to be a master. Well, I'm starting to get used to this, but I still can't keep up with Tosaka's thought process. We'll ambush him tonight. I'll try pulling some strings so they'll that I'll try pulling some strings so that they'll have to stay in the night shift. So you be ready too. Hey, hold on, we can't do that. Get him on the night shift? Are you saying we'll fight him tonight? Of course. There's no guarantee that Kuzuki will come at, come to school tomorrow. We won't wait. We'll make him stay at school until tonight and test if he's a master or not on his way home. Let me ask you to make sure. How are you going to test if he's a master or not? Using force. Using force. Just like I did to you. The phrase, just like I did to you, sounds a bit sweet. So as I thought, Tosaka is a bully inside. Maybe I fought her over the playground's peace when we were small. I'm against it. There should be a gentler way to check. We shouldn't have to take such dangerous measures. It's not dangerous. I'm not indiscriminate, you know. I'll just shoot a light gander rat shot at him. If he's a normal person, he'll just sleep in for a day or two, for two days with a cold. He'll just sleep in. You're going to take two days away from a man if he is innocent. He'll just sleep in for two days with a cold. Oh, that's a problem as well. If Kuzuki is a master, we'll get into a battle right then and there. As we're the ones attacking him, we won't, we won't be able to... As we're the ones attacking him, we won't be able to talk to him. I get it. That'll be even more convenient. What part of it do you think is dangerous? I'm the one doesn't that doesn't get you. I'm talking about how dangerous it'll be for you. Tosaka must have finally realized that she stops the conversation. But that's only for an instant. I see. That's fine as well. I'll just do it by myself in that case. She easily concludes. Damn. I guess it's meaningless to say anything to her once she's determined to do something. Alright, I'll go along. I don't know what reckless things you might do if I let you be. That's my line. Jeez. It's time to leave. Then we'll meet at 7 at the park below the bridge. We'll, we'll probably end up fighting, so you better be prepared. She looks away and walks off. I leave the classroom after her. Then we will attack Caster's master tonight. We still don't know if Kuzuki is a master, but that's pretty much the plan. I report to Saber about today as soon as I get home. Saber must agree with Tosaka, as she is in, as she is hyped up already. So, we won't be training today. I'll make dinner right away, so let's get ready for tonight. Wait, is it bad to eat before going to battle? Huh? Why are you asking? I believe there will be a problem if we get hungry during battle. Well, I was thinking that it might be too heavy. We don't even have an hour left, so we might be better off eating after we come home. Oh, I do not think that is the case. It is a quality of warriors that quickly digest anything we consume. I do not think food will be bad if one has been training and has led a proper lifestyle. Um, does that mean I can cook dinner? Yes, I believe we will have more energy that way. I see. I have trained to be able to move right after meals, so I guess there's no problem. But I'll make a, but I'll make a light dinner just in case. Then I'll be going to the living room. How about you, Saber? I cannot bother you. I'll stay here and calm my mind. I guess you'll be sitting here, Japanese style and meditation. Alright, I'll come get you once dinner is ready. Alright. Wait, the white I because it fades, I'm used to like the text like vanishing and coming up with the new stuff. I leave the dojo. It's dark outside. We're meeting at 7. That must mean we'll be attacking Kuzuki-sensei about an hour after we meet. We'll have to fight if Kuzuki turns out to be a master. Caster is a wary servant. She would never give us another chance at a surprise attack if she found out her master had been attacked. Then we'll have to make sure to beat him if we're going to attack. I can't let my enemy escape, nor can I run away. 
no matter who it may be, Caster's master has to be defeated to stop Caster, the one attacking all the people in this town. If all goes well, we'll take away his command spell and he won't be a master anymore. But in the worst case, we'll have to try to kill each other. Oh yeah, I have to take a weapon. A weapon at my place. Something I can easily put magical energy into would be a wooden sword. My success rate of strengthening magic has been pretty good recently, so even a wooden sword would be would become a good weapon. But that's only in the case of a normal battle. I'll need a better weapon if I am to fight against a master or a servant. To be greedy. Swords like his. I imagine what I saw in my dreams. Twin swords of black and white. If they are about that long, I should be able to use them. And most of all, I could fight decently if I, decently if I had those swords. I'd be able to protect myself and not be a burden on Saber, and be proud that I'm Saber's master. Man, it's meaningless to ask for something you don't have, you idiot. My shoulders slump as I head to the porch. I'll just do what I can. For now, I'll concentrate on making dinner. Saber always seems so serious, but it seems Saber is looking forward to the meals. It's been my recent secret joys to make her happy. It's 7 o'clock. Tosaka comes right on, right on time. Sorry to keep you waiting. I took time since I was getting the necessary things. How's your preparation? I show her the wooden sword bag. There's one sword. There's only. Th wait, you brought a whole bag, but there's only one sword, you dork? There's one wooden sword in here. This is about all the preparations I can do. Well, I guess I can't be helped. First of all, we have to ha we have to have Saber for hand. Wait. First of all, we have to have Saber for hand-to-hand -hand combat. It might be that you'll just end up watching. Yeah, I guess I'll just back Saber up if since she's here. Well, I can't think of a situation where I'll be helping out Saber. Reen, why is Archer not here? Then Saber asks with a serious expression. Huh? You didn't bring Archer, Tosaka? No, I left him at home. We're doing a surprise attack today, so we won't need him if we have Saber, right? To be honest, I don't want to let him I don't want to let him see Caster. Tosaka starts walking. I don't know what she's thinking, but I guess we won't be getting Archer's help. Time passes. One has to pass this intersection if one is to go from the school to the Ryoto Temple. It's already been an hour since we got there. Got here. A boundary field has been created here. It's over if we're seen, but the soundproofing is perfect. Nobody would notice even if a missile is shot here. According to Tosaka, it's so quiet around us. I guess it's because Tosaka's boundary field is working, but the town is too lifeless. It's already been seven days since the Holy Grail War started. It seems the town is having its spirit slowly drained without anyone noticing. He's coming! Hi, Demya! I move to the wall. I can't even hear footsteps. I see a shadow under the streetlight. A tall and lean figure. The familiar figure is definitely that of Kuzuki Suichiro. Kuzuki passes us with his usual ordered steps. He's too defenseless. I'm suddenly attacked by the feeling that Kuzuki Sensei might be innocent. Hey, Tosaka, don't you think Kuzuki Sensei is innocent? Well, we'll find out for sure after we try. Seems Tosaka is in doubt as well. I guess she's she's still going with the plan as she points her finger her index finger at Kuzuki. Gander. It is a curse to reduce the target's physical ability, considered to be the simplest magic. Tosaka's gander shot is more like a gunshot, but I'm sure she'll go easy this time. Are you ready, Amiya? She murmurs. I'll still make it. There's a possibility that Kuzuki Suichiro is innocent. Isn't there another way to check if he's a master or not? Uh, I mean... As much as I disagree with, you know... Taking away two days of someone's life if we're wrong, we also kind of got a track, though. I guess that's the only option. I bite my lips to bear the uneasiness. I'll have to bear it. If Kuzuki Sensei turns out to be innocent, I'll just have to remove the curse on him with all my power. I'm shooting now. She takes a small breath, and right after that, a black bullet is released. She must have made a sound on purpose. It is slow, and the black haze goes for Kuzuki like a pitcher's change-up. What? What's a change-up? A wind of disease that will cause him to be sick in bed for two days. But two days of inaction is fatal for a master. There has to be some kind of reaction if Kuzuki Sensei is a master. Crap. Tosaka jumps. Kuzuki does not react at all. Tosaka's gander shot mercilessly hits Su Suichiro's head. 
But right before that, it is nullified by a robe that suddenly appears in the sky. Oh. The man that was supposed to get hit by the gander shot looks at us, as if saying he knew we were there all along. Tosaka. I quickly take the wooden sword out of my bag and put magical energy into it. There's no time to be screwing up the strengthening magic. The robe that appeared in front of Kuzuki now takes form. Female limbs appear from the bluish purple robe. Teleportation. A complete teleportation is considered to be a sorcery, even in this modern world. Kastra has easily performed such a thing to appear in front of us. I have warned you, Suichiro. I told you to stay at the Ryoto Temple because such things can happen. She must think nothing of us as she calmly talks to her master, Kuzuki. That is not true. We did catch a target. Yes, the fish aren't that large, but it makes no difference since this is quite a haul. Come out now, you foolish magus. I guess running away would be hard now. No, if Castor and her master are here, are here, all we have to do is fight them, even if this is the middle of town. But before that... You're not coming out? That's too bad. I at least wanted to see what you looked like. Damn that fox. She should know who we are already. Tosaka grumbles from her hiding spot. Castro must hear it. I will give you three seconds. To, I will give you three seconds. I will do it. I will do the same attack to you after that. Since she says so and points her hand in our direction. I recall what happened at the Ryoto Temple. She won't hold back. Knowing her, I bet she would destroy this whole area along with the wall we're hiding behind. Emiakun, jump out when I give the signal. Saber, are you ready? I sense her nodding behind me, but there's something I need to confirm before that. Sorry, do that later, Tosaka. Huh? I don't wait for her reply. I go out into the intersection with my wooden sword. Hey, Shiro! Tosaka must not want to let me go alone, as she comes out as well. Oh, this is unexpected. Do you understand your position more now, boy? Kasher watches us with a composure. Kuzuki is standing next to her. We're about 10 meters apart. No matter how I think about it, Kasher's finger would be much faster than me running into them. But I showed myself in spite of that. I have to do something before I fight. That is... Tosaka and Emiya, huh? So you two are masters as well, like Mato. Fate has an odd way of doing things. To check the true identity of Kuzuki Suichiro, the one Kasher is protecting. So, you have something you wanted to- wait, did I read that right? To check the true identity? Yeah, yeah, I did. So, you have something you want to ask me? He says so in his usual manner. I don't feel a presence as a Magus from Kuzuki. No, I don't even feel a desire to win the Holy Grail War. Then, Kuzuki, are you controlled by Caster? It's possible that Kuzuki is controlled by Caster like Archer said. Can't fight against Kuzuki until I get this cleared up. Caster admits an intent to kill. That alone tells me the question is off-limits for her. What an annoying boy. I should kill you. Her words are not a threat, but... Hold on, why are you asking that, Emiya? Kuzuki stops her in his usual manner. There should be reasoning behind your question. Tell me. My throat is dry. It must be Castor's intent to kill. The road figure tells me I'll be killed if I say something bad. I bear it, and... I don't know how you became a master, but you're an honest human, right? And you shouldn't be overlooking what Kasher's doing. But since it seems you are overlooking it, I thought you just might not know about it. I say so while glaring at Kaster. What Kaster is doing? Yeah, she's putting up her fort at Ryoto Temple and collecting magical energy from the people in this town. All the coma incidents happening recently are her doing. There will be more victims, I'm sure. Someone will die as long as Kaster keeps draining the magical energy. She said everyone in this town is her sacrifice. It won't be long before it's too late. I see. A normal human being would not be able to let her be. So you thought I might be controlled since I am letting her do as she wishes. Yeah, but if you're overlooking her deeds, knowing what she's doing, then you're just a killer. We won't hold back on you, but it's a different story if you're controlled. We'll just defeat Caster. No, this is the first I heard about this. Kuzuki declares so firmly. I don't think it's a lie. Kuzuki Suichiro is a straightforward like when Kuzuki Suichiro is straightforward like when he's teaching. Whew. I sigh with relief while keeping watch on Caster. Kuzuki Sensei is a victim if he's controlled by Caster. Then all that's left to do is defeat Caster. But Emiya, is Caster doing so bad? Is Caster's doing so bad? But still, 
Kuzuku Suichiro plainly says so. What? What? It does not concern me how many strangers die. Besides, Castro has not taken anyone's life. But I must say, you weren't very thorough. Caster, yada yada. You should have drained all of their energy if that is the case. He's not any different than usual. Kuzuki Suichiro gives his honest opinion. Kuzuki, are you going to involve innocent people in this? I do not care about anyone. Well, you correctly guess my nature. I am not a magus. I am just a killer that has rotted away. Kuzuki takes a step back. He watches us from behind Caster. You are right that I am Caster's puppet. I do not care about the Holy Grail War. If Caster and you two are going to kill each other, I will just observe. But... I value my own life. I do not care what Caster is scheming. I only kill those that are attacking me. Do as you wish, Caster. You can kill them or not. Caster is standing in front of us with an expression of victory. Jeez, they're both big foxes! Tosaka complains, but she doesn't move. No, she cannot move. In terms of skill as Magi, we have no chance of beating Caster. Masters are ma Magi, so we cannot match an excellent Magus like Caster. I see. Then you do not mind dying here, Caster's master? Huh? A voice from behind me. Before I can turn around. The Servant of the Sword, Saber, charges forward. And with that, I'm going to end the episode there. I will see all of you guys in the next one. Bye bye